can't help yourself, can you? Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian, live here in Southgate. It happened more than a year ago. A 12-year-old boy killed in a deadly crash at this intersection. This morning, District Attorney George Gascon announcing charges against the driver and off-duty sheriff's deputy. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Sticker shock continues over the soaring natural gas bills. You thought your gas bill was high? A local restaurant is showing off their latest bill. We're going to compare it to what they used to pay. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Balloons are celebrations of all kinds, but California is cracking down on which types of balloons you can buy. We'll explain. I'm Eric Spillman in the Tahoe Pass. It is cold, but the scenery is beautiful. Highway 5 through the grapevine is open now, but it was closed overnight because of snow, and some people got stranded. I'll have a live report. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin, new here at 10 o'clock. Can Yellowstone survive without Governor Dutton? We'll talk about the possibility of Kevin Costner actually leaving that show. Possibility, likelihood, it's happening. Beyonce tickets giving away here tomorrow. More details on that. And Josh Flagg from Million Dollar Listing. How's the real estate market? He joins us live. Ten o'clock, plenty of sunshine. If you're looking out the window, you go, man, this looks like a beautiful day. But no, 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 it's cold. I like Eric Spielman's beanie also out there. <laughs> the highway. Uh, we're looking at highs of 61 degrees coastal, 62 downtown Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley at about 64 degrees, 40 at the moment in the high desert with a high of only 52 degrees, Inland Empire up to 60, and Orange County Inland up to 63 degrees. Frank. We begin the 10 o'clock hour with breaking news out of East LA. Rich Prickett in Sky 5 HD over the scene. Rich. Hi, Frank. Yes, some evacuations underway here in East L.A. This all began around 8.30 this morning. East L.A. Sheriff's Department responding to the 12,000 block of Brannock after reports of a burglary and possible shots fired. Now, we're waiting for confirmation on whether shots were indeed fired and more information on the... Uh, on the uh, Standby, as we said, there were some evacuations around a resident, the uh, residence that they are uh, interested in, where they think they may have a suspect inside, uh, and they have the Special Enforcement Bureau uh, out with their Bearcats surrounding the area here, uh, and in front of that particular residence, will be sensitive to the positions of the officers that are uh, here along these residential streets. Again, this is uh, the 12,000 block of Brannock just north of Union Pacific and uh, next to the 5 Freeway. Now, what they've also done here on the southbound side of the 5 Freeway is they have shut down the Olympic Boulevard off-ramp, and that should remain closed while this operation is continuing here in East LA. Frank, I'll send it back to you. Rich, thank you. Formal charges are going to be made against an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy arrested in connection with a deadly crash. A 12-year-old boy was killed. KTLA Zelina Bovian live in Southgate with the details. Zelina, good morning. Jessica, good morning. And District Attorney George Gascon will be announcing the charges today, which really speaks to the severity of the situation. But the charges, the arrest aside, this specific intersection, well, residents say people who drive here along Firestone, they treat it more like a freeway than a city street. Just take a look behind us. This is Firestone and San Juan. This is where the tragic accident happened more than a year ago. And this area specifically, there are two schools, always kids walking. Now, let's take a look at the video. This is from November of 2020. 21 12-year-old Isaiah Rodriguez was in the car with his 19-year-old sister. The sister was driving and attempting to make a left turn from Firestone to San Juan. The kid's car is then suddenly T-boned by a pickup truck driven by that off-duty sheriff's deputy. The impact was so powerful, the car was thrown 75 feet from the initial site of impact, and it flipped over. Witnesses rushed to help the little boy. The 19-year-old sister took off her sweater to stop her brother's bleeding. 12-year-old Isaiah, however, did not 
not survive. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. His sister was also injured. She suffered a concussion, broken bones and lacerations, but was eventually released in the hospital. Today, the Southgate Police Department, along with District Attorney George Gascon, will be announcing the arrest of the man responsible for this accident. His name is Ricardo Castro, 28 years old. He was arrested recently and booked on a felony charge for a crash that happened on November 3rd, 2021. His bail is set at more than $2 million. Police believe the cause of the crash was speed related. As for this intersection, local residents and business owners telling us this morning they've been calling for change for something to be done for quite some time. We got so many schools here. Sometimes it's a drag when you gotta get from point A to point B and you gotta deal with all the parents dropping off their kids and it's just kids, you know, this is our future. Uh, instead of like doing things responsibly like speeding, we should be taking care of these kids, making sure they get school safety and get school back. And another question we plan on asking during the press conference today is why did it take so long for these charges to be filed considering this accident happened on November 2021? We'll send back to you. Alina, thank you for that. A white supremacist who pleaded guilty to killing 10 people in a shooting at a Buffalo, New York supermarket has just been sentenced to life in prison without parole. The sentencing came down after chaos erupted in the courtroom. We never go in no neighborhood to take people out. No, 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 no. Bailiffs rushed to Peyton Gendron out of the courtroom as others subdued a man who lunged at him. It happened as a relative of one of the 10 people killed in the shooting last May was delivering an emotional impact statement this morning. A man came up next to her and then rushed toward the man who's been convicted. Once the situation was under control, Gendron was brought back into the courtroom and the hearing resumed. A man suspected of murder is in police custody this morning, hours, or excuse me, after an hours long standoff at a Venice motel. Police surrounded the Lincoln Inn Motel near the intersection of Lincoln and Venice Boulevards just after 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. LAPD SWAT officers eventually took the unidentified man into custody just before 5.30. The LAPD did not release any further details, including which crime the suspect is accused of committing. They were talking about doing it again, much better, putting it in, you know, going backwards in, in drive there. And still, look at this, unbelievable, he still has traction. Here comes again. They might try it a little slower, they're saying, we'll see what happens. But here it is, the bumper's coming off, spinning them around, and that might do it. That, oh, no. <laughs> This suspect behind the wheel of a stolen vehicle uh, is finally in custody after a two hour long pursuit that included five pit maneuvers. The pursuit to started just before nine o'clock last night in Compton near the intersection of Rosecrans and Atlantic Avenues. The chase then moved onto the northbound 710 freeway to downtown LA, back to Linwood and Compton. Spike strips slowed the car down uh, before multiple pit maneuvers managed to stop the driver who was eventually taken into custody. Now at 10, the grapevine is open again after snow and ice closed it overnight. Small communities along the 5 freeway had to light snow and below freezing temperatures. KTLA's Eric Spillman wearing a cap this morning. He's in Lebec. He did a perfect snow angel earlier, and now he's over the freeway. Hey, Eric. Yeah. Hey, Frank and Jessica, I'm rocking the beanie this morning, and I must say it's warming up nicely here. We're now at 33 degrees, which is positively toasty compared to what it was when we first got here, 23 degrees. All right, we've got some beautiful scenery here in the Tahone Pass this morning. Check out those snow-covered mountains. Snow is definitely melting fast, so it's not going to be here for long. Highway 5 through the grapevine is wide open this morning, but overnight they had to close it for a few hours due to the weather and the driving conditions, and that left some people stranded here. We've never experienced this before. How My hands are...